Think about the last time you exercised, ate a meal, or recovered from an illness. All of those activities were carried out by molecules called proteins, which require a specific shape for each function. But how exactly do proteins get their shape? This is a question that has puzzled scientists for over 50 years and has evolved into what's now known as the protein folding problem. A protein starts off as a chain of different building blocks called amino acids. This is called a protein's primary structure. When amino acids interact with each other, the protein becomes more complex, folding into secondary, tertiary, and sometimes quaternary structures. But what is the code that tells a protein to fold through these levels of structure? To find the folding code, biochemist Christian Anfinson took the functional form of a protein called ribonuclease and added chemicals urea and beta mercaptoethanol to break it down into its primary structure. After the chemicals were removed, the string of amino acids folded back into its functional form. This proved that a protein's shape is determined by its amino acid sequence, a principle now known as Anfinson's dogma. But a simple line of amino acids can fold into various shapes. Scientists refer to these shapes as conformations. According to biologist Cyrus Leventhal, if a protein randomly samples all possible conformations while folding, it would take longer than a person's lifespan to find the correct one. But how could this be? People depend on proteins to live. Scientists named this problem Leventhal's paradox. And the answer to it lies in funnels. Let's draw a protein's conformational space. Every point represents a different conformation for a protein. Conformations that are closer together are more similar in structure. However, for each structure, the strength of interactions between amino acids changes, giving protein conformations different potential energies. If we graph this, we would get a protein folding funnel, where unfolded forms of the protein have the highest potential energy and the functional form has the lowest. This funnel solves Leventhal's paradox because proteins fold to minimize their energy. Imagine a ball rolling down a hill. The ball won't suddenly reverse its direction because that would go against gravity. Energy must be spent to move the ball uphill. Similarly, a folding protein won't work upwards its funnel to test other possible conformations because it's already going towards its least energized functional state. In 50 years, the protein folding problem has made tremendous progress. Scientists have used computers to reveal the structure of over 80,000 proteins and they continue to apply knowledge about protein folding to design their own proteins and develop cures to diseases caused by misfolded proteins, such as Alzheimer's or Parkinson's disease. In short, continuing to understand the protein folding problem will help humans unfold some of the mysteries of life.